Hello, my name's Fred McNeil. On behalf of the entire QAC TV staff, we'd like to wish everybody a happy holiday and a wonderful new year. And as a special Christmas card to our lovely audience, we're going to read The Night Before Christmas by Clement Seymour. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in a kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprung from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wind hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with the slave full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. And bundles of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks.